What's good, Wealth Builders? It's your boy Devon back again with another video. And today we're talking about our seven ways to wealth earned income. So let's go. Now, tuned into the greatest. <laughs> okay, real quick, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video, okay? Because we talk about making more money, saving more money, and building a better you and business. So without further ado, we're gonna talk about the last segment of Seven Ways to Wealth series, Earned Income. All right, most people don't think of a way to be wealthy or a way to become wealthy when they think about earned income. Well, in actuality, earned income is actually your first step to becoming wealthy. Because without actually working for someone, you must, you most likely won't have a means to invest. Okay? You won't have a means to invest in stocks. You won't have a means to start a business. None of that stuff, okay? Earned income is your stepping stone to financial freedom, right? And no, I'm not talking some measly 401k or pension plan or none of that, okay? I'm talking about taking that money you've earned and investing it into a business, the stock market, the real estate, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. Something that is going to help you build the wealth for the future. Remember, building wealth is a time game, okay? The earlier you get started, the easier it is for your money to grow. So, again, earned income is a pivotal part to your growing your wealth, okay? It's where you start. And no, I'm not saying don't invest in your 401k either. I'm not saying that, okay? What I'm saying is create something outside of that 401k to bring in more passive income and residual income or having a job or career to keep the lights on, okay? Because <clears throat> if you don't got the lights on, if you can't feed yourself, if you can't do what you need to do, then you're not gonna be able to survive. And if you can't survive, you can't invest, okay? So what you need to do as far as like the earned income though, one key point is that nine times the 10, you're not going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, really invest a lot of your money in stocks or buy real estate if you're working a minimum wage job, to be honest, okay? Or if you're working a barely get by job, you know what I'm saying, making $18, $20 an hour in just that job, I advise you <clears throat> to go ahead and take either take on a second job and use that money to start a side business, like a side hustle, maybe an online marketing business, a online website business, something that you can do online, something you can create, and you don't have to be there 24 seven. And then as that income grows, you take that income and you reinvest it into things like stocks, real estate, things like that, okay? You can do, you know what I'm saying? You can do like um, crowdfunded real estate. You could do, um, ETF stocks, if you don't want to sit there and play with the stock market and do all the trading and stuff like that, you can do, you know, stocks that are com grouped up together. That's how you can just invest in one industry instead of investing in, in a particular stock. Um, just by using the money you make from your side hustle. Okay, and then create a residual passive income from from dividend stocks and crowdfunded real estate. That's how you can grow your wealth while you, you know, say grow your earned income through your side hustles, through you know, what I'm saying your whatever whatever type of hustles you have, and also your nine to five. You know what I'm saying? Because most likely you're not going to do that with one income, right? You're not going to you're not going to build wealth with one income, not fast as most people want it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to do this and try to build wealth by the time you're 60 years old. I'm talking about that wealth where you're like 20 and you can actually start seeing that wealth substantially in your 30s. Or if you're 30 and you can start seeing that wealth substantially somewhere in your 40s, okay? 
That's what I'm talking about. All right. So with all that being said, I hope you take some insight from this video. Also, this is, like I said before, the last segment of the seven ways to wealth. I've created seven different videos on different seven tools that can help you create wealth. And if you use all seven tools, you'll be able to start creating yourself some wealth and passive income and residual income. All right. So watch all the videos. They are in the the description below I have them grouped into a playlist so you can check out the playlist and just go through video by video by video that's so you can see exactly you know what I'm saying how well how, how wealth is built how streams of income can build one big pond or one big lake or one big ocean of income and wealth the the whole pot mixed together you know what I'm saying you put the seasoning you put the meat you put the you put the salts whatever you put in the pot okay of the wealth stew turn the fire on and let it simmer you know what I'm saying you get what I'm saying do you get what I mean you know what I'm saying these are different ingredients different streams of income that once you put together create a nice substantial amount of income that you can sit on and create wealth all right i don't know any other way to say it all right so thanks for watching thanks for being a subscriber again all the links in the description okay also you can check out the, all my t-shirts okay i do have some great t-shirts that you can check out uh you can check out my website my my um my blog thewealthbuilders.com you can check out all these things Links in the description. Until next time, it's your boy Devon signing off for the seven ways to wealth earned income. Do remember, wealth builders, make more, save more, build more. Peace. It's the wealth builders, baby.